Hi, good morning, children. The last class we were saying about the Roman numerals. Is it? I told you what are the Roman numerals. Is it? it? So in the uh, Indian system, or we write the numbers using the digits zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are the symbols we use, or these are the digits we use to write any big number. Okay, using these ten digits. We can write all the numbers, whatever numbers we want. We can write. Similarly, we can in ancient time, ancient time, the people they use the Roman numerals, and even now also we are using in the question paper, isn't it? In the question paper also we can see the Roman numerals. Like I, we are writing like X, isn't it? Numbers you might have seen. So they are the Roman numerals. So let us see the Roman symbols. What are You see what are the symbols we use to write the Roman numerals. Well, the Roman numerals, the symbols are symbols. Symbols to write the Roman numbers that is I, B, X, L, C. B M. These are the symbols we use to write the Roman numerals. Which are the symbols? I B X L C D M. So I, the value of I in Indian system, it is number one, and the value of B in Indian system, it is number five, and value of this X, that is. Ten value of L that is fifty. Then C is hundred. D five hundred and M is thousand. M is thousand. Instead of thousand, we can write this M. In Roman numeral, we write M. That means it is thousand. So instead of five hundred in Roman numeral, let, we can write only D. Then in hundred C, fifty we have to write L only. Then ten we have to write X. Then five B and one I we have to write. Isn't it? Now there are certain rules we must follow before writing the Roman numerals. Right? In the Roman numerals. One digit or one symbol can be repeated. How many times you know? Only three times. Only three times. One symbol can be repeated only three times. Now you see this symbol I that can be repeated one, two, three times. Then that is in our Indian system we call it as three. Why? Because in Roman numerals. When we write the symbols, the value of each symbol is added to the previous previous symbol. Okay, that is here. It is I. I is one. Again, one more I. So one plus one we have to do. Again, plus one more I is there. So again plus one. So one plus one plus one. That is three. Okay, and remember that the symbol can be repeated at most. Three times. That means only three times one symbol can be repeated. And which some symbols are cannot be repeated. Which are those symbols? You know that is V L D. V L D are not repeated. Okay. So which so which symbols can be repeated? I can be repeated. X C M. These four symbols are repeated. And others, other three symbols, we only are cannot be repeated. So, and that symbols which can be repeated, that can repeat only three times. So, the maximum number of times each symbol can be repeated is three times. Okay, three times it can be repeated. Similarly, so see X can be repeated. I told you. So you see X, X two times when we write. The value gets added. That is, x is ten plus ten. That then it is twenty. Okay.
Okay. Then if three times x is repeated, then it will be ten plus ten plus ten. That's equal to thirty. So thirty can be written as three x's. Okay. X x x thirty. Then can you write four x's like this? X x x x. Can you write like this? No, because one symbol can be repeated only three times. It cannot be repeated four times. So it is wrong. This is wrong. Four times repeating x that is wrong. Okay. Then the next symbol can be repeated is c. The symbol c can be repeated. So c c. That means one c. The value of one c is hundred. Hundred plus Hundred. So for two hundred, we can write double C. Okay. Then C three times. C C C. Repeating three times, you can write hundred plus hundred plus hundred. That is equal to three hundred. Okay. Three hundred. Four times can you repeat C? No. Four times. No symbol is repeating four times. Or more than three times we cannot repeat. So it is three hundred C C C. Okay. Then M also can be repeated three times. Then let's see. Next is this. This is V is the value of V is five, isn't it? Five and a smaller symbol. This can this five and then this is I. I is written if I is written to the left of V. So here V is greater than I, isn't it? Miss because I has the value one and V has value five. And if the greater symbol is written to the right of a smaller symbol, see the smaller symbol. It is a smaller symbol one and it is greater than five is greater than that. And if it is that smaller symbol is written to the left of The greater symbol, then the value of smaller symbol is subtracted from the value of the greater symbol. That means we can subtract the value of greater symbol. Symbol is five, and the smaller symbol is i. I has value one; it is less than five. So that value gets subtracted from the greater symbol. That is five minus one; it will be four. Okay, so the symbol of greater value and the symbol of lower value. If the symbol of smaller value is written to the left of the symbol of greater value, then the smaller value is gets subtracted. And other way, if the greater value is right, the smaller value is written. If the smaller value or smaller symbol is written to the right of the greater symbol. Then what happens? Its value gets added. Okay, it will be added to the greater symbol. That is five plus one. That is equal to six. This is six and it is four. See if it is written left side, it will be minus, and if it is written in the right, it will be added. Okay, is it clear? So which symbols can be written in the left? Only. I and X can be repeated, written in the left. The symbol of smaller value is written to the left of a symbol of greater value. It is subtracted from the value of the greater symbol. And the symbols V L D, the symbols V L D are never written to the left of a greater symbol. V L D. Are never written to the left of a greater symbol. Okay. Now let's write some of the numbers. Now see, children. One i is one. Then if two i is written here, the value will be one plus one. That is equal to two. A three i is. Then that is one plus one plus one. That is equal to three. Then After three, I cannot be repeated. Three times I repeated, then four times it cannot be repeated. So what we have to do is to write four. What we have to do from five, we we have to minus one. 
that is you write 5 then minus 1 if you have to do then you have to write the smaller symbol to the left of the greatest symbol that is here it is 4 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4 ok then 5 how will you write just we have the symbol 5 so write 5 then it is 5 right then how will you write 6 5 and add 1 that means we have to write 1 to the right of the greater symbol if you write great, uh, right of the greater symbol then that will be gets added that is 5 plus 1 that is equal to 6 this is 5 and 6 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 then 7 how will you write 5 and 2 eyes that is 5 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 5 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 7 then 8 how will you write 5 and repeat i 3 times that is 5 plus 1 6 plus 1 7 plus 1 8 5 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 8 then how will you write 9 again can you repeat this i again can you repeat no i cannot be repeated more than 3 times so what we have to do then you take the symbol 10 x you take the symbol x that is 10 if you have to write 9 what we have to do is subtract 1 from 10 that is write i to the left of the greater symbol 10 right so that is i x i x is the value of the greater symbol is 10 and the value of the smaller symbol gets subtracted from this that is 10 minus 1 that is equal to 9 right then 10 for 10 we have the symbol x this x is equal to 10 right again if we have to write 11 how will you write 10 and 1 10 plus 1 11 then 10 plus 2 that is 2 is 10 plus 2 10 plus 2 we can write 12 then 30 10 plus 3 10 plus 3 30 again i cannot be repeated then what we have to write 10 and 10 plus 4 is 40 10 we know and 4 also we know 4 is i b this is 10 and 4 10 plus 4 10 plus 4 that is equal to 40 then then 15 how will you write 10 and 5 10 plus 5 10 plus 5 that is equal to 15 ok then 16 how will you write 10 and 6 10 plus 6 10 plus 6 that is equal to 16 then 10 plus 7 is 17 that is 10 and write 7 that is equal to 10 plus 7 equal to 17 18 is 10 and 8 10 and 8 10 plus 8 is equal to 18 right then how will you write 19 19 is 10 and 9 so 10 then 9 is i x 10 plus 9 that is equal to 19 right then 20 how will you write 2 x's we have to write x and x 10 plus 10 plus 10 we can write 20 ok children then how will you write 40 20 then we have to write uh, 10 and 11 10 and 12 then I write 21 22 we can write then how will you write 30 30 is x x x 3 times 10 plus 10 plus 10 you get 30 then how will you write 40 44 times 6 can you write 4 times no that cannot be written so what we have to do is from 50 you take the symbol of 50 what is the symbol of 50 symbol of 50 is L you take the symbol of 50 that is L and from 50 we have to get 40 so we have to minus 10 50 minus 10 is 40 so 10 symbol we know so I and X can be written to the left of a greater value symbol isn't it so L is a greater value symbol and X of course 10 that is 
that can be written to the left of the greater symbol L. This is the symbol for 50. So we can write x here. So x gets subtracted from the number 50. 50 minus 10 we get 40. That is equal to 50 minus 10 we get 40. This is the way we have to write 40. Right? Then 40 xl and 1 you can write 41. Excel double 2 you can write 42. Right? Excel double 3 you can write 43. Then Excel and B 45. Right? So like that we have to write the numbers. Okay. Then 40. Then how can we write 50? 50 we have the symbol for the for 50 we have symbol L. So you can write L. Then how will you write 60? 60 is 50 plus 10. 50 plus 10. 50 is L and right of that you write 10. Then its value gets added. 50 plus 10 that is equal to 60. 50 plus 10 is 60. Is it clear to that? Okay. This way we have to write the numbers. Okay. Then 400 you have to write 50 you have written. Then 90 how will you write? 80 also we can write. 80 how will you write? 50 and 50, this is 50, then 60, 70, 80. This is 80. This is number 80. Then how will you write 90, 90? 90, we cannot write L and 4 zeros, 4, 4 x's. Can you write? No. So what you have to write? Take 100, 100 and minus 10. Then you write left of C. X you have to write left of C, then its value gets reduced. That is 100 minus 10, that is equal to 90. This way we have to write 90. Then 100 is C. Okay, 100 is C. This way we have to write the numbers. So children, did you understand? Now let's write some of the numbers. Okay.